Hey guys, what's up? So, I already shot this video once, and I didn't like how it turned out because I felt like I just went on rambling and I went on too many tangents in this one, so I'm going to try again this time around. So, I wanted to discuss the Captain Marvel movie that has actually not yet been officially released. It's going to be officially released at midnight on March the 8th, which is coming up very soon in about three and a half hours. Now, admittedly, I have not seen this movie yet, but I have seen, uh, I'd say... A few trailers for it uh, in the last month or so, a month and a half. I've gone to the movie several times, and I've seen the trailers for this movie uh, every time that I've went, pretty much. And I've also probably seen like a trailer or two on TV. I don't watch too much TV anymore nowadays, but I probably have seen a trailer or two. And people apparently weren't very impressed with the trailers. Now, personally, for me, I didn't really see anything inherently wrong with it. Uh, personally, I feel like a lot of the Marvel tra there's so many Marvel movies that have been that have come out within the span of the last decade. There's been so many of them that at this point, a lot of the Marvel trailers just kind of blend together. So I don't know. I tend to think the Marvel franchise is a little bit overrated, in my opinion, to be really honest with you. But whatever. Anyways, though. So I went to IMDb just because I was curious because apparently on Rotten Tomatoes it was already receiving critical reviews and Rotten Tomato was literally trying to shut down certain sections of their site so that it wouldn't get critical reviews which is very reminiscent of when they were doing the same thing they were trying to take down reviews that were critical of Black Panther so and really it's just got to do with the, all the politics surrounding this movie like it did with Black Panther now Black Panther, in my opinion, was actually a good movie. Despite all the stupid political crap surrounding it, I actually thought it was actually a very good movie. That seems to be the different case for this movie. Now, I went onto the IMDb page, and this movie already has a 6.2 out of 10. Now, that says something to me, because usually with most Marvel movies, and I could be wrong about this, I'd say maybe the exceptions would be like maybe the first few Thor movies, I know a lot of people don't think too highly of those, but ever since the first Iron Man movie, you know, and with, with I would say a majority of the other Marvel movies, most of them don't have any lower than, an, a lower overall than like 7 or higher. Like, they usually have pretty good reviews, and a 6.2 out of 10 isn't terrible, but it's definitely low for a Marvel movie. So I went and checked some of the uh, some of the user reviews, which are pretty much the moviegoers and stuff like that, because even though it has not officially come out, there are, of course, ways that you can actually see it before the release date, as everyone knows. And I could not find a single review that was above a 5. Like, literally, the highest, rev the highest rated review for it was a 5. It had a bunch of 1-star reviews, 2-star reviews, 4-stars, 3-stars everything people are not liking this movie and I think that of course that's probably to do with with how the movie was the movie itself was a lot of people are saying that Brie Larson who played Captain Marvel that her performance was bland and not very good uh, same thing with pretty much all the performances people are saying that the only good thing about it was Samuel L. Jackson which is not a surprise because Samuel L. Jackson is awesome and everything because he's a badass but Anyway, but yeah, like, so it, it's probably the movie itself, but I think a thing that really left a sour taste in people's mouths going into this movie was the politics surrounding it. Now, if you've kind of looked into what Brie Larson has been saying and stuff, you know that she's kind of been virtue signaling hardcore, you know, and just, you know, talking all the usual SJW leftist talking points about how it's really hard for women to succeed in Hollywood, how it's really hard, you know, for, you know, women, female superhero movies, and just the wokeness of it and all, and it's harder for women to succeed in Hollywood than it is for men, for white straight men, particularly, uh, harder for people to succeed, people of color, it's harder for them to succeed in Hollywood, and every, all the other minority groups, it's hard for them to succeed and stuff, and they're so oppressed, and everything like that, and all this other usual bullshit. Just all the usual virtue signaling talking points. But, I think the mistake that she made was that she basically alienated a good portion of the audience for this movie. Because, if she had just kept her mouth shut, 
and I'm, I'm, that's not me saying that I'm not saying that she should have that she has to I mean of course I mean she had every right to say what she said but if she had just kept her mouth shut she wouldn't have otherwise lost that portion of her audience like people still would have given it a chance and gone to see it I mean regardless of what these Hollywood celebrities think most men most men out there aren't sexist they aren't sexist or bigoted in, in any way they do not give a shit what the main hero is. They don't give a shit if the main hero is male or female. As long as it's a good movie and it's got good characters and good, and good depth of character and character development and story development, they're not going to give a shit. Believe it or not, most most men are not sexist. Most most men are not that way. Despite what you would what what the mainstream media and everyone else would have you believe, it's it's just it's ridiculous and. See, but but yeah, I think that if she because I think the ma another major thing here is that it's no it's no secret that some of the Marvel actors like uh, Mark Ruffalo, um, Robert Downey Jr. Another one, some of them are I don't know if I'd say leftists, but they're definitely left leaning. Like some of them appeared in a video where they were telling people that they shouldn't vote for Trump and stuff like that, and saying Trump was a racist and all these other all this other stuff. So, I mean, some of them are definitely uh, very left-leaning. Um, Chris Hemsworth being another one. He, Because I, I watched a video. I'll link it below. There's this YouTuber by the name of Actual Justice Warrior who went into this stuff. But Chris Hemsworth saying that there should be a female James Bond movie series because I guess that every movie franchise that had a main male lead needs to now have a female lead in place. So they basically just need to Ghostbusters everything. <laughs> They need to do the Ghostbusters remake for every movie franchise that had a main male lead or main male leads or whatever because equality, am I right? Equality of opportunity, my fucking ass. But, anyways, despite that, the Marvel actors have never gotten too political for their movies. They've never gotten to their movies uh, spouting off political talking points. They've just interacted with fans and just, and, and they well, haven't have really said, said anything, really. They just wait for the movie to come out and anticipate what the fans' reaction would be. That's how it should be. Okay, actors, actresses, authors, musicians, whatever, it is my opinion, and again, this is not me saying that they can't sp uh, talk about their beliefs or whatever, but it is my opinion uh, that it is, in the, it is in the best interest of all these people, all these entertainers, to just keep their fucking mouths shut and just do what they do. Whether that's act in movies, or write more books, or make more music, or whatever else. Keep your mouth shut about anything political. Because at best, I mean, depending on how you speak your rhetoric, at best you're just going to alienate a, ch a chunk of your audience. However big, however big of a chunk that may be, you're just going to alienate people. And that's never a good thing, because that, then that just means that less people are going to purchase your product because you have now alienated them for not conforming to your beliefs or what you think they should believe or who they should vote for. And I think that's the main problem with this movie, with Captain Marvel, with moviegoers going into this movie. And some people have said that, well, have, some people have said, well, you know what? If I'm going to be, you know, condemned like that, if I'm, if I'm going to get, if I'm going to be talked down to because of my gender or because of the color of my skin, I'm not going to go see this movie. There are people, I've seen people who have said that. And everything. So I think this movie potentially lost moviegoers because of the political talking points and because of Brie Larson's virtue signaling and talking down to certain people. This movie has lost moviegoers. But no, I think that's the problem. And just off topic, but it really kind of pisses me off when, because, so Brie Larson, one of the things that she was going into was about how supposedly female actresses will never make as much or don't make as much as their male counterparts, which, okay, whatever. The thing that makes me mad, though, is that even despite that, I mean, whether that's true or not, I'd say that you're still making a good paycheck. Am I, am I right? I mean, sure, you may not be making, uh, however much, like, you may not be making $5 million like him, but you're still probably making, what, a million? I mean, there are people who are way worse off, who are poor as dirt, 
Don't you think some of those people who are struggling right now would love to have even a quarter of what you have, even less than that? Even a tenth of what you're getting for your paycheck for that movie? But you're bitching about how it's not enough? But, I mean, a, a bunch of things go into whether someone gets paid more in a movie or not, but think about this for a second. There are people out there who are busting their ass, having to work two jobs, okay, trying to put food on the table for their families who are struggling. You've got people out there who are doing that, and meanwhile you're bitching because you're not getting uh, $5 million? Because you're earning $1 million as opposed to earning $10 million for a movie? Have you forgotten what you do? Your job is literally to play a character. Read off a script and play a character. I know that more goes into it than that, but that's, that's what you do. There are some people who have to do much harder things to survive. And I'm not begrudging you for making from I'm not I'm not begrudging you for making it big and you know being successful in what you do. That's not what I'm trying to say. But at the same time, though, it just it's annoying that you know people like this bitch about this type of thing where people who have it way worse off. I don't know. That's kind of that kind of pisses me off to be really honest. <clears throat> but um, and then. This whole thing about this, oh, it's oh, it's a female superhero movie. Can we just stop acting like there haven't been like there haven't been movies with main female character leads? Okay, there are countless examples of this. The Alien trilogy, the Alien trilogy, Resident Evil, the Resident Evil movies, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, the Harry Potter series, and yes, I know the Harry Potter. Harry Potter is technically the main character of that series. But you follow Harry, Ron, and Hermione throughout the entirety of the series. Hermione is one of the what I consider to be one of the main characters, and she's smart, she's loyal, she ends up being a powerful witch. Um, she's a strong female character. The Hunger Games trilogy, even going back to the era of Betty Davis and Joan Crawford, you know. So, you know. It, it's it's not it's disingenuous to sit there and act like this is some big thing when it's really not because there have been movies just like this in the past maybe not in the Marvel universe. But Wonder Woman is another example, and this might be the one movie that DC has over Marvel. Wonder Woman was executed way better, way better than this movie was. I guarantee it. I guarantee you it was. I mean the reviews speak for themselves. And. You know, regarding the actress Brie Larson, you know, despite, even though I may think that her virtue signaling is annoying as fuck, she is, a, I will say, she is a good actress, or at least she has been a good actress in other things, specifically um, the movie called uh, Room on Netflix, you can watch it on Netflix, um, I would recommend it, not not to be confused with The Room with Tommy Wiseau, but no, the movie is called Room, uh, she carried that movie by herself with a child actor for a good portion of the movie, Really good. I recommend you go going to see it. She actually won the Oscar for that movie, so she's proven herself to be a good actress, you know. And my best friend kind of had his doubts about this movie, and it turns out he was pretty much right. But I mean, he kind of had concerns because he didn't think that the actress really fit the role, and I could see what he was saying. But at the same time, I was like, well, you know what? She's proven herself to be a good actress, and I think that a good actor or actress can immerse themselves in a role and make themselves believable and then they can make you forget about other roles that they've played. That's the sign of a good actor or a good actress. So I'm willing to give this a chance. And like I said, I haven't seen the movie yet and I probably will go to see it at some point. I don't know if I'm going to pay money in theaters to see it. I may just wait until like, I mean, since the reviews are coming out, I may just wait to, to see it on Netflix if it comes out on Netflix or I may just buy it on DVD for cheap and then see it. But, you know, I mean, anything's possible, but I mean, I'd with the reviews this movie's getting, I don't have very high hopes at all, and I think there's reasons for that, other than the movie itself not being that very good, you know, but other things as well, all the, all the political bullshit that's gone into this movie and gone behind this movie and stuff like that, you know, and not to mention, and I will link a video, I think I already mentioned already, but again, Actual Justice Warrior, YouTuber, who uh, covered this topic pretty well, um, but... Apparently, when the trailers came out and the fans were criticizing the trailers, the Marvel, you know, the producers and stuff like that, they basically came out and pulled a Last Jedi 
and that they called their fans uh, sexist and just could, proceeded to belittle them because they didn't like the trailers, which is basically the same thing that, you know, that producers for The Last Jedi did. Everyone surrounding the Star Wars franchise right now did to their fans. They shat on their fans and called them sexist and racist and whatever else. You know, J.J. Abrams said that, that, oh, they're just intimidated by women or whatever. So you're literally belittling your core fan base because they're giving you criticism. Maybe inst instead, maybe, maybe what you should do is instead of belittling your fans and calling them sexist, maybe you should, I don't know, take in that criticism and figure out what, like, okay, what can we do better? What can we do to appeal to our fans more? What, we, what can we do to improve upon this? No, instead of that, you just call them all sexist. And you just say, well, you know what, basically, basically saying, well, you know what, fuck you guys, you guys are the problem, okay? You're gonna, you're gonna eat this shit, you're gonna like it. That's basically what they're saying. So, you know, given all that, I'm not really surprised this movie is opening to, so far, shit reviews, at least from moviegoers. I mean, I'm sure Rotten Tomatoes will pull strings and they'll... I, I really I'm really start I really believe I'm really starting to believe that Rotten Tomatoes as a site is corrupt. I think that they're in the pockets of leftist uh, left leaning leftist corporations and SJWs and stuff. I'm sure they'll pull some strings and this movie will still have a fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes. But as as far as the overall score, as far as moviegoers is concerned, this movie is probably going going to be shit mostly worldwide, except with of course feminists and SJWs. Kind of the same with The Last Jedi. I mean, if you go on to IMDb and you look at this overall score for The Last Jedi, I think it has like a 7.2 or 7.3. But if you go through the user reviews, you'd be hard-pressed to find a, a actual good review for that movie. I think it's going to be the same for this movie. So, anyways, that's pretty much it for this one. I just thought this was an interesting topic that I wanted to kind of discuss because it's been talked about recently. So, anyways, that's it for this one, and I'll talk to you guys later. So, peace and have a good day.